we're in the van. We're doing some layout work. We're uh, working out where the plumbing and the drains and the uh, electrical is going to run. Uh, I'm thinking about this while I was waiting for my 8020 to arrive. I played with my 3D printer and developed this little clip. Kind of looks like a little, little strong man. And what his job is to do is to hold, originally it was uh, for the plumbing, uh, in hot, hot and cold water pipes, and this clip slides into the T-slot, and it holds this PEX plumbing, so it just snaps in, and it'll hold uh, two pieces, and this, in this orientation, it's going across the piece of 8020, but the clip is designed with this uh, cross-shaped head, so that it can actually go in, in two orientations. So here it goes across the 8020 or in this orientation, and the clip is a little bit tight, but in this orientation, the pipes would run parallel to the 8020. And I've shaped it so that if there was a panel on the top of this, if this piece of 8020 happened to be next to a panel, the clip would still work. Um, it's got a flat side and then a side that's sloped. Um, so that's what its primary purpose was for. Um, I also developed it so that in, whoops, in this orientation, um, if you've got a three-quarter inch panel or a five-eighth inch panel, you can, you can put it here and it'll, it'll sit it out flush like that and you've got room for a screw hole, a screw to come in from the back. And there's actually a little shoulder in here that creates a sixteenth of an inch gap. We'll look at the uh, panel clip uh, uh, another setting here. I've got one right here. So, what I've been working on right now is trying to determine how my plumbing's going to run. There'll be a hot and cold water pipe that'll run underneath the water tank uh, to get to the back for the exterior shower. There's going to be a hot and cold water pipe running this way to get to the kitchen sink. And we'll need a hot and cold going across here. So, that's what this lower clip is for. Um, but I've also got to deal with the sink drain. Now this clip wasn't designed for a drain. Um, oh, another feature of the clip is that it's got a little hole in the, a little hole in the back where uh, a zip tie can fit. So what I've done is I've cut the center out of this clip here. I've done the same on this one. And I'm thinking that I can use that to support the ABS pipe. And then I've got the zip tie that'll be able to go around and hold everything nice and tight. Uh, so that was kind of an unexpected uh, use of the clip. Uh, but I had these, um, I'd sent these out to get 3D printed in uh, nylon, so they're nice and solid, and the, uh, they're not hollow at all. And so they're nice and strong, and I think this is gonna work. So we'll keep moving ahead, and we'll see how that, I'll show you how it progresses. One of the <laughs> unforeseen issues when I had these uh, printed by a third party is the process that they use is SLS, where they lay out a layer of um, nylon powder and then a laser draws the shape and melts the, melts the plastic the nylon. And they put down another layer and build it up like that, uh, layer by layer. And so the, uh, the clip has a channel designed in it to take the uh, zip tie, but the, uh, the channel ends up filled with the plastic or the nylon powder, and uh, I'm having to, where I know I'm going to be using a uh, zip tie, I have to dig that little powder out, so there's a little bit of an unforeseen uh, issue. So this is an initial mock-up of the water and drain system. Um, we're on the passenger side of the van where the sink is going to be, and this is the fresh water tank. Behind this will be the water pump, and past that will be the outlet for an out outdoor shower. So we need hot and cold water for the outdoor shower. We need hot and cold water towards us um, for the kitchen sink. And then we also need hot and cold water for the shower and heat, hot water is uh, generated on the other side of the van. 
So these two pipes represent what will be the hot and cold water. These two underneath, where they're coming straight up, will connect to those T's, and that'll take hot and cold to the other side of the van, and this drain uh, travels across for the, uh, for the kitchen sink. So this is just a mock-up showing how those will work. Um, this will be, zip tie will hold these pipes together. I'm using my little clip system to hold the hot and cold water pipes there. The hot and cold water pipes down below are held with the clip system, and then the modified clip um, behind the uh, inch and a half drain pipe. This other little clip that's sitting here unused will be um, for supporting some wires that'll go back to a uh, tank monitor, uh, power for the pump, and probably an uh, auxiliary outlet at the back for uh, whatever you need for the uh, receptacle for. I'm just thinking now that um, in a situation where there's going to be a pipe like this where it might have some water in it, some weight, and going down the road, this might vibrate and move a bit. So I think I'm going to uh, put in this uh, T-nut bolt just underneath the clip there and it will help hold it up and I can actually use it to, uh, to give myself some slope if I need to. So this is where our electrical panel installation is going to go. We're on the, uh, we're on the driver's side, we're at the uh, back of the van. And so I've got two panels here and here that are attached with my little clip system. So I'll just show you around the back. This of course is the two, two of the clips prep in preparation for the plumbing. And here they, is the same clip, uh, just using the little hole and the uh, three quarter inch back set to hold the panel on. Let's see, if I can, see if I can get a little bit of a better angle on that. Well, that's the clip in the hole. I've also, uh, that clip is also going to be holding my number 10 wire um, kind of back here as it comes into the, uh, the van, it'll clip to that, that piece of 8020 and then go in. It's, uh, it's the same size uh, for that as well.